In this video, you will learn how you can automatically send a second DocuSign envelope once a previous envelope has been signed. For some workflows, you will need to send two DocuSign envelopes, but instead of sending the second envelope manually, you can completely automate the process using Zapier. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process to accomplish just that, step by step. Let's say that I work in HR and I want my candidates to receive this tax form and deposit authorization form after they've signed my offer letter. And of course, the second set of forms forms should be automatically pre-filled with information we already have about the candidate to improve the speed of the transaction. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi. I'm the founder of Solution Consulting. Since 2019, we've helped hundreds of companies like yours automate document-related tasks in their sales, onboarding and recruitment workflows. To automate your document workflows, you need document templates, databases, and integrations. And that's exactly what we build for our clients. So if you're tired of fighting documents and manual tasks alone, you can find a link in the description of this video to schedule a consultation with one of our automation consultants but if you prefer to do things on your own i also strongly suggest that you download our free document automation cheat sheet it will help you understand how to automate all your forms and documents now let's go back to the topic of this video and see what you're going to need to make this work so first you are going to need a DocuSign account with two templates as you can see here i've got my offer letter template there's nothing crazy about this it just contains my document template with my field my signature field for for my candidate and then we have our second document template which contains the tax form as well as deposit authorization form so this is a direct deposit authorization form where we need to capture bank information for our candidate and this is our w4 which is the federal tax form in the us now this is a template that we want to automate there is nothing special about them but we do want that template to be automatically sent to our candidate once the offer letter has been signed and we also want the these document these forms to be pre-filled with the data that we already have on file and so because of that the next thing you're going to need is a database that contains the list of our future employees from here within one click we can generate offer letters and send them for signature via DocuSign as a side note although this is set up with Airtable you could technically use any other software as long as it's connected to the internet and integrates with Zapier now I'm going to send an offer letter to this candidate Peter Owen Peter Owen is a great guy let's just send him an offer so I'm I click on offer letter and so what this is doing is it's sending a request to DocuSign to send an envelope to Peter and as you can see Peter has now moved to the offer sent stage inside of Airtable. Let's go inside of Peter's inbox and see what the offer letter looks like. You can see that the data has been merged so we've got a start date and we've got the position and we've got the location as well as the name of the manager but that's not what I'm trying to show you in this demo so I'm just going to click on sign here as Peter and then we'll be done with this and I'm going to click on finish. Now that that the offer letter has been signed technically and this is going to take a little while because zapier is not that fast the offer letter status here will change from sent to completed which also means that the stage of our applicant will change from offer sent to offer accepted which will then trigger our second envelope to be sent while this is processing i'm just going to show you the zap in zapier so that you understand how it's actually set up that sends the offer letter to peter but then we have our second zap which is where the automation starts for our second envelope so what this does does basically it's it's waiting to for the document envelope to be signed and then it's finding which candidate record inside of our database air table needs to be updated and it will then update the status of a letter so if i go back to docusign the offer letter will then need to change to complete it once docusign wakes up and realizes that the envelope has been sent anyways actually it's not docusign's fault it's zip it's pretty slow once the offer letter status changes to complete it then we have a DocuSign action here that's basically uh, the field that we have for our candidates for example the name the email the address and the state and all of that and then triggers the generation of a DocuSign envelope using this particular template here pre-fills all the fields with the information and then sends it to the candidate and updates the onboarding document status in our system here from nothing to sent right this will change to sent once Zapier wakes up. So the third Zap's purpose is to update the record of the candidate in our database from onboarding doc sent to completed as well as bringing in the onboarding documents completed just right here in Airtable so that we can see the PDF 
but it's also updating database with the bank detail for that candidate. So for example, if I'm showing you a candidate that's been fully onboarded here, if we look at J, for example, so we have here our onboarding documents. So we can see here we have her filled out onboarding documents and we also have her bank details that are here. And we obviously also have our W4 that's completed. But now the good thing is that we've also extracted the data that has typed in the tax forms and the bank details form, which means that it's actually visible here. So if I wanted to, I could build a view here for my payroll. Let me just say, I'm just creating a view for payroll, for example, and I could say, well, payroll needs to see all the fields that pertain to the payment details. So I'm just going to show those fields here. And then I'm going to add all the fields that don't need to be there. This view would help someone whose responsibility is to create the candidate profile in the payroll system just to look at the relevant information I need to know. So what's the pay rate? What's the start date? The onboarding documents to see the tax forms as well as the bank name, the account number and the routing number. And so the way this works is that once the onboarding onboarding forms are completed. Zapier will update the status of the onboarding form as I showed you. So this is what's happening with this particular Zap here, but it also updates the record. It extracts the bank information from the candidate and puts this in the record inside of Airtable. Now let's take a look at our Airtable record and see if things have changed. So yes, you can see that now Peter's record is in the offer accepted stage and that the onboarding documents status is set to send. So, okay, so this is the document notification. So we have Peter's address here that's pre-filled. Bank information is not pre-filled, which is normal. And we also have our W4 that's pre-filled. So now let's just fill this with Citibank. Okay, checking and we're going to sign and that's it. And so now that the envelope has been completed, technically the record inside of our database in Airtable should be updated as well. So let's take a look at that. If I open the onboarding docs. And so here we have our completed document with our bank details. And W4. And so the last thing we want to check is we were able to retrieve bank account number and routing number. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create an interface inside of Airtable to visually make this all of this data appealing because it's kind of very ugly right now. It's something like this where you have a dashboard, you can really customize how you're seeing the data. And this is something that our clients really, really like. And if you'd like our help to automate your sales, onboarding, or recruitment process, you can schedule a strategy session with one of our consultants using the link just down below. Our services include templates, databases, and integration development to help you automate always more of your workflow. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.